Hey y'all, so today I have the four polishes that I picked up from the Essie Winter 2019 collection. There was a red and a silver that I didn't pick up because Ulta didn't have them when I ordered these. I also have the Mercury and Retrograde Part 3 duo to show you today, so let's get into it. First up is Under Wraps, which Essie describes as a pine green with deep undertones and it has larger hollow glitters in it. And here's the first coat. It's a little sheer on the first coat, but it has to be it has to be a little bit for the hollow glitter to show through. And here's the second coat. This was my favorite out of the collection. This had the most contrast between the glitters in it and the base color. It has a little more teal to it in person, but it's a beautiful color. And here are the swatch pictures. Two coats plus top coat. Next up we have Tide in Blue, which Essie describes as a sapphire blue and it has the same larger hollow glitters in it. And here's the first coat. This one's really opaque on that first coat. And here's the second coat. And here are the swatch pictures, two coats plus top coat. Next up is Caught on Tape, which Essie describes as a warm gold with red undertones and it has the same larger hollow glitters. Because this is so metallic, the gold in it is so metallic, the glitters don't really show up as strongly as the green and the blue do. You can see them a little bit better in person, um, but with like the lights and stuff, it they're kind of hard to catch on camera. At least for me, it was difficult. And here are the swatch pictures, two coats plus top coat. Next up is Let It Bow, which is described by Essie as a cool winter white with the same larger hollow glitters in it. I was a little disappointed in this one. I feel like it's just silver and hollow and a clear base. And I wanted something that was a little more crelly like with a white base to it. Um, I am showing it over black, Essie Bikini Sotini, and white. It takes three coats on its own to be mostly opaque. It's not 100%. And here it is, one coat over the base colors and three coats on its own, plus top coat. So here I have under wraps compared to Zoya Merida. Um, the Zoya Scattered Hollows, it's a finer hollow. And here I have Tide and Blue compared to Zoya Dream. And then I have the Mercury and Retrograde Part 3 duo. This is it's not you. It's described by Essie as a gold metallic with pearl particles and peach reflex. I see a little more gold and green personally. Here's the second coat. And here it is, two coats plus top coat. And next up is It's Mercury, which is described by Essie as a forest green iridescent base with coral, golden, blue, and purple sparkles and shifts. This is what it looks like in the bottle. Unfortunately, it does not look like that on the nail. It's a little difficult to catch on camera as most shifty polishes are. In person, it doesn't have a strong shift to it on the nail. So here's the first coat. It is very metallic and reflective. And here's the second coat. Here are the swatch pictures, two coats plus top coat. And at a little bit of a different angle, you can kind of see that purple reflect there, but it's not much. And that's all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.